Hi guys, welcome to the first clip, the first part of this beauty routine video. It's going to be my prep pre-travel. You're going to see my whole routine, how I glow up from how I'm looking right now to being just tanned and having that holiday look like I'm just, you know, that carefree, that girl kind of look where it's like, oh, does she naturally look that good? Or has she like done a ton of stuff as part of her routine? Spoiler alert, there's going to be a ton of stuff. So now I'm starting with my brows. I have everything ready here. I'm mixing up my brow dye, which I will show you the packaging and everything for the product information. Um, but you'll see how I transform my brows. They don't look bad and they have a nice shape. It's just I'm not gonna, I wanna be as minimal as possible, especially traveling with hand luggage. So I am just going to, yeah, keep it very, very simple. And by dyeing my brows, I'm, you know, obviously I, I, that's one step I don't have to worry about. Don't have to pack the brow pencil. I am gonna bring a brow gel just to keep everything in place um, and add, you know, a little more structure to my brows. But yeah, I've mixed, it's gonna be a dark brown. It's gonna develop darker than that. But then with the spoolie, it's almost like you're applying, um, you know, like a brow product on as normal. Just brushing it upwards and through. And it is going to darken with each passing minute. So, yeah, you can already see it's a little more intense. Leave on for a couple of minutes. This is also like an extremely low maintenance routine. So I really love doing this because it's such a simple addition to the day doesn't take out a lot of time. I am going to go in twice. So this is my first layer. I have almost half left here. Let's leave that on for a couple minutes and come back in a moment. So while I'm just going to let it develop for a little bit longer, if anyone is interested, this is the product I use. I Lord Dye Brow Kit. I go for dark brown, even though I'm lightening my hair to a blonder shade, which I think was a previous video you guys will have just seen on my channel. Um, this was always the color I went for and it works really well. Again, you can leave on for just a minute and then it won't be too intensive or dark. I obviously want them a little more full and dark. Um, I think that's just gonna look good, make it, that's like one part of my beauty routine that I feel like I always need. It changes the way my face looks. So yeah, I tend to do my brows, but this is just gonna simplify the whole process. There's also gonna be fake tanning a little later in the video, nails, nail updates and all that kind of thing, a face mask some more skincare, you know, things like that. So yeah, be back in a moment. Okay, so wiping them off now with a tissue. This is the first layer done. Um, I probably left it on for about three minutes in total actually, but honestly, you don't need more than five minutes, I would say. Okay, so that doesn't have to be perfect just yet. I'm gonna apply the second layer now of the remaining product, and this is just gonna fill out any gaps that I may have missed, make them look even darker and even fuller. Okay, they're looking more sluggish, but that's a good sign. It means that the color is going to be more intense. Going to leave it on for like a minute and a half, two minutes. Come back, show you guys the full end result after I've wiped it off. And there we go, step one done. Can you believe that difference? They look probably on camera a bit better than in real life. I'm not sure, but which normally isn't the case, but uh, yeah, they're much fuller and thicker and you guys can see that it's, defi it's defined, there's definition and more of an even color. You can't really see the gaps. So yeah, I'm very happy with that result and that's going to last me this effect for like a good week. This is the first part of my nails. I will show you guys my pedicure. Um, I finished with finally doing my toes so I'll show you that at some point. Um, I'm wearing socks right now but yeah this is the next part for my actual manicure and I can't really show you my nails they look absolutely horrific right now but yeah I've prepped them I just need to get these nails prepped and glued on. So I got this new uh, glue from Amazon. I think it's pretty much the same thing that I've already been using this one and then an old boots nail glue and then I have Where's my top coat? I have it here as well. A little Barry M top coat. And yeah, got to get that done in the next few hours. Okay, guys, post shower now. Nails are done. So let me show you my nails. I know everything has been filmed in the bathroom so far. But yeah, also this one, this one came off. I need to glue it back on. I don't know what happened. Like I was 
getting my stuff together and then I guess I, I like was lifting some kind of like cardboard material and then I just felt a little like flip and I guess yeah it just lifted the whole nail up so yeah I'm gonna have to glue that one back on but it's like a very very short practical French manicure I think it's really really cute um, the, I know this one already came off, but it's very unlikely that these would fall off. They tend to last a really long time. I put extra glue. So luckily this one came off now before I went, but yeah, post shower, time for the rest of the beauty routine. I'm going to do my hair, which isn't part of this, this actual like vlog and beauty routine. Cause I'm doing like my whole lightning routine to transform my hair into more of a blonde shade anyway now yeah post shower um i will do like a little fake tan update a little bit later but for now i'm gonna do my face mask so i really wanted because i'm gonna fake tan my face i realized that i probably shouldn't apply a sheet mask the one i was going to use was this one from primark um and it's like a, a calming it's like a calming anti-redness mask so instead, this is one that I've had for a long time. I think I got it in an advent calendar, Balance Me AHA Glow Mask. So it's actually travel, travel friendly as well. It's really small, but they said to just apply it for about 15 minutes and then rinse it off. So I think it's like a traditional mask, but obviously I want something that's going to brighten my skin, keep it just like really smooth and even and glowy as best as I can. And yeah, I'm just not going to apply it everywhere, but just the mainly down the t-zone and yeah i think it's alpha hydroxy acid so should be kind of like a chemical exfoliating effect haven't done a face mask in a while so this is going to be a nice a nice touch it like this like I said mainly on the t-zone cheeks where I tend to get redness and breakouts I've got a couple breakouts it's that time of the month so not much I can do about that but yeah gonna leave this on for about 15 minutes get some stuff done come back and probably show you guys after it's washed off not that there'll be a huge visible difference in my skin but just to show you what my skin looks like and then the next clip after that will be the final fake tanning skin and face Okay guys, skin is done. I have to say I'm actually very impressed. It did not dry my skin out at all. My skin still still feels really, really soft. Um, well, no, it feels really soft, not as still. It was soft to begin with, but like now it definitely feels very smooth and soft. And yeah, I feel like this would be a really, really good anti-aging product. And my skin's kind of glowy but like in that nice glass skin, Korean beauty skin kind of way, um, like the 10 step Korean skincare routine, you guys know what I'm talking about. So yeah, it's kind of almost giving like glass skin. If I had, if I had no redness, I think my skin would look amazing right now. So yeah, it's a really good base. I'm really glad I chose that. Hopefully it gave a little bit of a brightening effect because I've got a little bit of breakouts, but yeah, I'm gonna leave my skin as it is now. Um, yeah, I need to stop using that word. But yeah, I'm going to just let it sink in. Like I said, it didn't dry, dry it out at all. I'm trying not to say the word skin 50 million times. So yeah, it didn't dry it out, which means I can leave it for like an hour at most. Probably not even a full hour, but yeah, leave it for just a little bit um, without any product on and then just a few layers of fake tan to wash off in the morning. So yeah, that was a nice base. Brows, as you can see, are done and still in place. So it looks good, good enough for the trip. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna go do my hair now, dry my hair. The fake tanning, which I will show you, will be probably a little bit later. Also, yeah, as I said for my nails, um, put extra glue on and also did a top coat. Um, and yeah, these are AliExpress nails because I didn't give too many details earlier, but if anyone is interested, they're from AliExpress. You can also get them on Shein, uh, literally like a couple of pounds and just really simple everyday nails. Okay guys, so I am sat in front of a window, but it is the next day. I applied a fake tan, rinsed it off, washed it off, even in front of like a really light mirror um, window, you can see that it's got a nice glow. I'm actually probably a little bit more like orangey darker than is showing up on camera. But yeah, and obviously like standing away from a light, 
I'm going to look even darker. But anyway, the tan I used is a new one. Normally I go for Bondi Sands, but I was almost out. And this one is vegan, cruelty free. I was really impressed with the brand and this product at first, but I will say, disclaimer, it left a sticky residue. It didn't sm smudge, it didn't streak, like I'll show you guys now. Um, it's all over, very, very even. There was one patch on my leg, on the back of my leg, where maybe when I was like sleeping, maybe it didn't sink in properly and it smudged off. But other than that, completely even, even though he, on my arms, it was so sticky, I was worried. But yeah, it's from Isle of Paradise, the Express Self Tanning Mousse. And then what I used with that prior to that was exfoliating gloves in the shower. That was to exfoliate, shaved, even though you're not really meant to do it right before, but it's fine. Um, and then, uh, sorry, it's still got the color on it. I need to rinse that, but the tanning mitt. So that's just what I used to apply the mousse. It smelled really nice and yeah, wash it off. I did apply it all over my face as well. And I went in with a second layer of tan this morning. So I'm looking very, very glowy, a little bit on my fingers, but that's okay. So yeah, it's a nice even tan and I'm happy with that result. I'll, I won't really build up on it because obviously I'm going away, but um, maybe abroad like in the sun, I'll get a slight tan. So yeah, happy with that result so far. So this is the pedicure I've just put on um, one of my kind of pairs of kitten heels. So I am going to fake tan a little bit more, but you might be able, yeah, I mean, because the color, the color isn't... Um, it's not showing up as nicely um, on camera because it's more of like a muted, neutral skin shade, like a nice nude shade. Um, but it's looking a little more like orangey or brownie on camera. But anyway, I am going to fake tan a little bit more because it did the first round did wash off. But um, yeah, I haven't reapplied for a while and I need to reapply. So then it's going to it's going to fit even more. And um, the shade is going to look even more neutral and nude and a bit more flattering. But yeah, that is the pedicure done. If anyone's wondering, this is the shade. It's just like a nice, um, a nice kind of neutral. It looks kind of more like mushroomy brownie, but it is called Rainy Day from Lottie London. I've had it for a really long time, but it is actually a really pretty nude. 